Welcome back to a video-only episode of the Gay Racing Podcast. Zach and Alex are back with you, and it is Daytona 500 season, Alex. So what does that mean? We, there is. We are going to react to some of the best Daytona 500 finishes, mostly ones from our lifetime. Of course, we are not 50 years old. Yeah, it's this weekend, the Daytona 500 week does not feel like it's so i need this i need this to like really get in the mood for nascar so i'm ready let's do it and i'm excited to reminisce about some of these finishes see how like see. racing at daytona has kind of evolved over time we're gonna start of course with 1998 and alex that was the year mm -hmm. you were born right or wasn't it sure was i wasn't alive during this race because i was born later in the year yeah, and of course, we all know who won this race. Good old Aaron, yes. Dale Earnhardt. You know, Zach, you and I, we didn't have to wait 20 years for this. Uh, just, it ca happened before we existed. Yeah. So. <laughs> wow. This is one of the first... I, is this the first Daytona 500 that Mike Joy called? I think it might be. On TV, I think so. He did oh, like yeah, radio. On TV. Race back to the line, of course. Yes. No overtime. no overtime. No green white checkers. Jesus, imagine that. That's so cool. Look at who is that? Is that Mayfield? That is Mayfield, I think. God, I didn't realize he was getting his elbows out. Wow. Hell of a call by Mike Joy. Like that is still his I best mean, call ever. It's one of the top five calls in all of NASCAR. Larry! 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 Larry Mac! <laughs> Larry! Oh, so cool. Wow. That's just like peak sports. Like, not even just racing. Dale Sr. winning the Daytona 500, just peak sports. All right, 2002. I feel like no one talks about 2002. No. And like, Ward Burton. So, just like before this, just before this, Sterling oh. Marlin pulls on his fender. Oh, Mark Martin. That's Dale Jarrett. Okay. Oh, my God. But. So, I just remember this one for Sterling Marlin pulling on the fender and Benny Parsons yelling, you can't do that. Yeah, that's the most iconic but thing in this race. Ward Burton won the race, which no one, like you no said, one Zach, no one talks about. about that. Like, why? Why is he such a forgettable Daytona 500 winner? Yeah, he's so iconic. People know him more for, like, grabbing snakes by the head than winning the Daytona 500. And how he 500. talks and yeah. how he grumbles when he talks, yeah. And also, Elliot Sadler, is that in second or is it Ricky Rudd? I forget I think which it's order Rudd. they were in the 21. But I might be wrong. Hold on. Are, is it Sadler? Wait, it is, oh, it is Sadler. Sadler! What? That's crazy! <laughs> I did not think that was Sadler. Dude. Jeff Bodine, third? Look at that top five. That's Kurt a Bush, crazy Michael Waltrip. This is a good one. JL Jr. 2004. Yeah. I have, wait, let me get my thing. I have like a replica. Oh, yeah, you do. Show that off. Man, this, the lead up to this finish was just so, so much fun to watch. This is one of the first races that I like have vivid memories of like watching the whole thing from start to finish. You got the car, Zach? I do have the car. As a piece of Daytona asphalt. Oh, that's so cool. I got this for Christmas from you. I love this call. The legacy continues. Dale Period. Wins the oh. Daytona 500. And that's all you had to say. That's yep. all you had to say. Plain and simple. They don't make calls Scott like Wimmer's, that anymore. Scott Wimmer got third. That 22 car was cooking in the early 2000s. I know. It's like the wow. modern day, like 2311 almost. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> so iconic. Like that. I love this call Very to the iconic. finish, too. Like, Larry carries this. Larry carries, like, half of Fox's iconic calls, let's be real, back in the day. And this is when, like, the 500 started finishing, like, really late under night. Yeah, it started getting closer and closer to being at night every year. Like, they're so pumped. They have no idea who's going to win this race. All day. I just love how the mid 2000s cars look. Like these look, just look perfect. Because this is a lot much tighter than 2004 was. They were so strong out in 2004. Mm -hmm. Look at Tony. Ooh, look oh at Stewart God. going way up there. 
racetrack. He and Jimmy Johnson are going to make Ooh. contact. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jeff Gordon's going to win his third Daytona That's crazy. Hell yeah. Is this like the most watched Daytona 500, by the way? I feel like... I believe so. I think that sounds right. 2005 is when NASCAR peaked. Like, this was the peak of NASCAR, so... It's it's kind of cool that Jeff Gordon was the only one in. Because he yeah. was like... I feel like him and Dale Jr. were the NASCAR guys. Like, everyone knew who mm -hmm. they were. This is... This one here is going to be replayed, like, in 50 years from now. Oh, yeah. Like, it's never going to stop being played. Look how far back Mind Kevin you, look Harvick how far is. back. Yeah. yeah. See, this one's actually, like, not the same as the ones we've just seen. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh! Look how close Kyle Busch is, too. He Kyle got Bush close to right blocking there. the 29. If he blocks the 29, this looks so different. Wow. Man. Oh, he just got oh. sideways. Oh. I kind of liked this because it was just side by side of the finish. I feel like... Oh. I feel like that's like the most iconic a NASCAR finish can look, where it's a photo finish up front and then everyone's wrecking in the back. Yeah. Take a shot every time Clint references of this this weekend. I also like with the 07 finish that it, they both they all yell Harvick at the line, just like Harvick's first win back in 01 Atlanta. It's yeah. a neat callback to that. Unintentional, but it's cool. This was my first Daytona 500 I fully watched. Memory, Zach. And Team Pinsky, oh. Team Pinsky, Zach. This race. Oh, the goosebumps. And I didn't even know like the context of Tony Stewart and how like he's been trying to win this forever. And now when you add in today's context too, Kyle Busch still hasn't won one, yeah. and he's right there again. Tony kind of threw this away by not he going up high. This so hard. Not staying up high. Yeah. Look at Reed Sorensen. Reed Sorensen, yeah. And Elliot Sadler, Sadler again. there again too. <laughs> Dale's even up there. <laughs> Gotta make it wide. This is a good call. Team Penske, Roger baby. Pinsky. That's a good call, Mike. That is a good really good call. call. That's an underrated call. 50th, by the way, the 50th Daytona 500. Golden anniversary. Yep. The Daytona logo had, like, gold on it. Like, on the yeah. wall. It was like a gold. You, you can yeah, kind of right see there. it there. Yeah. It was so cool. I loved how Penske were both blue cars, too, that year. Yeah. So cool. And that was my favorite thing. The synergy. Because they looked so uniform. That was when they started really uniforming the cars, I feel like. Yeah. This one was range short. This was such a bummer. Bummer. Yeah. By the way, guess who's up front again? Elliot Sadler. Elliot Sadler, bro. <laughs> My man, Elliot Sadler. He looks so young here, dude. He does. What a king. I love Matt Kenseth. That's Matt Kenseth. That's Matt Kenseth. That's Matt Kenseth. Oh. Oh, I like this call. This, is this one call. is a good call. Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle's the new Elliott Sadler. He's going to be up here for, like, the next five races. Yeah, he's, like. he's up here for, like, the whole decade. <laughs> Junior's oh, there again. I was pulling for Junior so hard. He's on his long winless streak at this point. This was cool when Fox did the little top five graphic on the top. Yeah, that is kind of cool, although kind of pointless, because I can see the top five on the screen. Yeah, yeah. It, it was interesting. I like it for the finish. Oh, look at and them in Dale the back. was They're really like, pushing. This was the start of Dale's streak. He got, like, a bunch of second-place finishes in this race in, like, four yeah. years. Like, I wasn't happy for Jamie because I was mad that Dale didn't win it. Right. I was 10 years old. Little long. Jamie, baby. But looking back on it, really cool. Oh, this was the most iconic. Like, this is... The first like huge underdog win I ever saw. I ever saw. Yeah. I was so excited about this. I thought it was, I was the like, coolest man, a young guy won. Yeah. Yeah. And now I feel like we see underdog wins at these races a lot. Too often. Yeah. And it's not so it's as like less cool anymore. Like seeing McDowell and Stenhouse do it. But at the same time, though, I feel like Trevor Bain winning this would be like if Riley Herbst won it. Yeah. It's not like McDowell and Stenhouse 
they're not that but much I don't think underdogs. It, it wouldn't have the same punch because we've had the last several years be underdogs. And by the way, Edwards was well, flying here. And Bobby Labani was there in the 47. Yeah. That's a lot of different things okay. going on here. Daryl ruined this call, not going to lie. Yeah. Cinderella Bain! But also, this was like Trevor Bain's second cup start ever. Like, that's why yeah. I think McDowell and Stenhouse and Cindric even didn't really hit the same, in my and opinion. I'm sure Trevor won't ever want to take it back. But, like, people were hyping up, like, oh, my gosh, this is the next big thing. Like, he's going to win so many races now. But this is just kind of the only thing he really did. But Which I think is makes it even one, cooler looking back on it. Yeah, I mean, what a race to do it in. 800 500. And it wasn't Wood easy to win these races back then. I mean, it wasn't that... I mean, yes, it was the tandem, but it was still hard. I like this call, though, I, again, I hate the finish. <laughs> I remember watching this. It was like, what, at 1 or 2 in the oh, morning? Oh, I wasn't watching this. I was asleep. You gave up? I had school! I was 12! I didn't go to school the next day. I know I didn't. I think I stayed home this day, but then they pushed the 500 back even more, and I was like, oh, darn it. Right. Biffle again up there. Biffle through. Biffle, I hate Greg Biffle. I don't care what the data says. Greg Biffle threw this race so Kansas could win it. Junior fan. I'm just surprised Biffle didn't try to win it for himself, you know? But I'm not surprised. Didn't want to lose it for Roush. I loved the... Uh, this was the first uh, Diet Mountain Dew race for a uh, junior. Really? Like the silver Mountain Dew car. Not the first Mountain Dew race ever, but like the first silver car where he started oh, running it okay, as a primary. Okay. Gotcha. I hated it at first, but I'm like, no, this is cool. Best Buy scheme is so nice, by the way. Oh, yeah. Kind of want Best Buy to come back, because that's, like, a good car. That'd be cool. This, this race is a flop. But also Danica's third. Greg Biffle! <laughs> yeah, Greg, Greg Biffle, Biffle again. What the? Why is he here? He just spawns in the top five. Oh, one of the BK yeah. cars. God. Oh. How is Danica just chilling in third? And then they all just like drive by her with Dale leading. That's really funny. I thought Dale was going to win this race. She doesn't finish top five in this race. She never got a top five in her career because right there. Wow. They just go through her. She finishes eighth in this I wish Dale would have won. I think it's seventh or eighth, yeah. Good for Jimmy. Mark Martin got close again, didn't he? He got third. Yeah. Wow. Good for Jimmy. I remember Mark Martin. That, this was the only plate race he would do back in the day. Or back in, like, 2013. Jimmy won in 06 to start his dominance, and then he won again in 13 when he won the title that year. Yeah. Interesting. 2014! Oh, that ticker is so bad. Oh, oh yeah, that ticker does. Love this race, though. It's still Love better than... Race. I'd rather have that than, like, the comic book stuff, though. I'm not going to lie. Well, I'm just kidding. Fair. Never mind. I love Daryl in this call. This was a really good call to the finish. And I mean, Kislowski and Hamlin are like the best plate racers that we know of today. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Got nothing on Dale. Nothing on Dale. Nope. Couldn't get Dale. And Kyle Busch is up there again, too. He got that close so many ADA times. ADA is pulling away. Oh, the ch oh. Look at the f let's listen to the fans. It's Earnhardt. I like that call. That was, it's Earnhardt. I love this whole thing. This is one of my favorite memories in NASCAR. Race ends up. I'm so, so glad exciting. I got to and watch then, Dale win the 500. And then because he won this race, Dale joined Twitter, which that felt like right. a huge moment in like NASCAR Kyle online Bush history. Driving backwards. He's always driving backwards. <laughs> He's like doing that more now. I didn't realize he did it here. Too. <laughs> he did it a lot. He's always done that. Boo! I hated this one. 
Logano, Harvick, Earnhardt, Boyer. Lame as heck. Guess what? The race is for four. Joey Logano, Ooh. any Joey Logano moment in 2015 just makes me mad. The question is, are they going to throw the yellow? Are they going to let them race back? This package also kind of sucks. Car pile up in the back straightaway. Caution is out. I'm also just a again a salty junior fan. No, this is why I hate it because like I feel like they had time to set something up, but nah, Logano's gonna win this no matter what. Middletown, Connecticut's Joey Logano. Be fair, was it Larson? They had Larson going head first toward the wall back there. They probably wanted to throw the yellow for safety reasons. Yeah, but Kyle Larson's invincible. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. Look at the catchments here. I don't. I don't. I don't think. It, let me stop. That's that's fair. Just, let me just. Stop. That's not. Yeah. Oh, one of the all-time. Oh, this great is a good finishes. one. All-time great finish. This is right up there with those seven. Yep. I was screaming when this happened. Once again, Kyle Busch up there. Yeah. Larson's kind of up there. Wait, wait. God, Denny. This was one we really noticed. Even Lachis is so long. Speedway dominance. Yeah. Yeah, Denny was the just flash. flying. The number the flash. flash. Oh, Kenza. That's when Denny went Super Saiyan. He's oh. going. He's going. This is so cool. That is NASCAR, man. That is I like so how cool. Daryl's just screaming. Hot dog! Like, literally. Hot dog. Larson! Wait, I forgot he was leading this. No. He was leading this. No. And my, my man Casey Kane's in third. You and I were struggling here. I don't... I kind of forget about this finish a lot. Yeah, me too. Because everyone just runs out of fuel and it's kind of lame. Ryan Blaney! Look at Ryan Blaney! Oh my gosh! This was the start of like the Blaney era of where he keeps getting close. Oh yeah, Larson ran out of gas. No, right. that's not Stenhouse. That's Almendinger. Almendinger? I think it's yeah. Almendinger in 47. Yeah. Oh my god. Blaney. Man. Bill Milo just so cool. One day he needs to, man. He's been close so many times. I'm happy Kurt Busch won, though. Oh, yeah. That's he awesome. Yeah. Because, like, he is a champion of the series and a Daytona 500 champion. Yep. I love the conspiracies that this was the first, like, Monster Energy Cup series race, and he has Monster Energy That's on the right. car. That's right. I love the conspiracy. I remember that. Look at Tony Gibbs. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He's just... That's like Andy Reid after winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> He's too old to get that excited. <laughs> oh my god. So number one, Blaney dominated this race but got in a wreck. And then you kind of see I was so annoyed. Ooh. Dylan, where will he go? I hate that they're on the onboard there, but okay. Yeah, the, that onboard kind of ruined that moment. Um, Austin Dillon 110% deserves this. I don't care. I don't care. Twenty years of trying for Earnhardt, he won the Daytona 500. Nick Joy like came up with that on the spot. That was a cool call. I feel. I think that whole Very situation cool was a cool car call, call. I also mm. have a lot of connection to this Daytona 500 because I I was at a friend's house when I was watching this and we had such a good time. So this is like a really good memory. I don't think the Almirola crash is as controversial as people made it yeah. out to be at the time. I mean, um, if you're trying to win the Daytona 500, you're not letting off. Sorry. No. I don't know. I get it, but it's also like, yeah, that's a super speedway thing. Yeah. And it's not like that was his only Kyle super Bush, speedway. Kyle again, up at the front here. This was a cool finish, like a cool story, rather. Mm -hmm. And this was like the last, like, race with this package before they added, like, the huge spoiler. Yeah. Man, look at all these moves. Everyone's trying. Michael McDowell. Kyle Busch wins one of these. Oh my god. I don't remember most of the 2019 500, to be honest. What happens in this race besides this? I don't remember. I was working during this. I don't know. 
I don't remember it really. I was like in college cool. when this happened. I remember I had to go back to school the day after. But I love the top three for Gibbs because JD passed before this race. Mm -hmm. This one. So, this one happened. This was awful. <laughs> yeah. This was a heart wrenching. Ugh. Still green, and here they come. Yeah. Yeah. You and I were on a call for like an hour or two after this, just kind of comforting each other. Just we didn't know what happened, really. Wow, look but at the runs they could man. make with this package. Oh my god, man, Stenhouse, Blaney was up no, there again. <laughs> I can't, the years are coming together, <laughs> they're all merging. Oh. He almost got spun right there. Oh. Man. Man. All three of those cars were so loose coming to the checkers. They were all over the place. Like, they were so unstable, even with that big blade. It didn't really make sense to me. All that downforce, yeah. and you're still so loose. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was terrifying. Between Hamlin and Blaney... As far as who crossed the finish Hamlin's first. You know, Hamlin, his wins are so different. He had like a hype clutch, you know, close finish. Then he had the good mm. story with like the JGR one, two, three. And then he had this like heartbreak, Newman like scary win. But he's had three very yeah. emotional wins, skyward, which I think is kind of down on his interesting. But yeah, I mean, I literally. The AMR safety team this is the worst I've ever felt quickly. about a race car driver that mm -hmm. didn't like. You know, besides, you know, the Indy car ones at Pocono and whatever. Yeah. Because this, I thought. A fist pump from in terms of NASCAR, yeah, this think, was the closest I thought we got to. Bad. I think it probably is because yeah. everyone kind of had that bad feeling there. Oh. 2021. I remember this race because Hamlin dominated, but they got shuffled out in the pit stops. He did. I was really rooting for Hamlin here because he was going for three in a row. Think Didn't Blaney did. lead a lot too? A wreck. No, this was yeah, the year there was a big annoyed. wreck early. Remember? I think oh. Blaney got caught up in it. Maybe that's what it was. I just remember being bummed watching this yeah. race. Look at Larson in the Forbidden Nations guard car. This is crazy. A car we don't talk about. And remember, we were podcasting at this point. We were. Ooh. Man, that is a hard hit. In fact, this was the first 500 where we podcasted. It was. Oh, my gosh. Michael McDowell. It's just so lame that the Penske guys took each other out like that. I know. And it's kind of poetic that this was Kozlowski's last 500 with Penske, because mm. like he needed to go somewhere else after this. <laughs> this is uh, another one that Ryan Blaney was super close. close to and winning. And Bubba, too. Bubba was really close. Yeah, Bubba. <clears throat> and Brad's right there. I, I didn't realize Brad yeah, was Brad's like... Brad's right there, too. I thought he wrecked out early in this race, but I guess not. That must have been last year he got wrecked out. Brad had a really good speed week his first year with RFK. Yeah, because he won a dual race. Both of them won a dual race. God, Fox sucks now. Why are they so silent? It's the Daytona 500. Come on. They need to wake up. Who's in the booth? Tony like Larry Mack would be yelling. Why is Tony saying nothing? He's locked on there too. He's gonna have to stay there. Tony's probably not saying anything because he's nervous about his own car winning. Yeah. See, it's like they're so like calm until they come to the checker. So weird. Yeah. Man, Brad. Like Larry Brad Mack would... just needed a little bit more of a push. And mind you, Brad's watching his old car lead That's this race right now. That's crazy too. Oh, that. I didn't think about that. Poor Brad. Blaney. Cindric is going to bring them to the line way up high. To oh man. Blaney and at the line, Cindric beats Bubba Wallace. I forgot he like put Blaney in the wall. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> and I don't blame him. And then okay. Bubba nearly got it anyway. I feel like we talked about this on the podcast, but like, imagine if mm -hmm. Cindric puts Blaney in the wall and they both wreck out, and then a non-Penske car wins, doesn't win. 
like two years in a row. Two years in a row, yeah. the Penske guys take each other out. That would have been yeah. insane. But luckily, luckily, Cedric gets this win. Which it still is only cup win as of now. Yep. But Larson was up front for this. So this was this part is the only part of the this 2023 to 2500 that I did not like. Right, because this race, yeah, we talked about that on the podcast. Yeah, this race slapped was an absolute banger. But then we had to have overtime. Yep. Overtime ruined this yeah. race. Bowman on the outside, a it was push. Kyle Busch and Bowman. Brad Keselowski going at it. The two have been trying so long to win it. Bro, two car tandems are back. <sighs> Man, if Bowman would have been there to help Kyle, I think he would have got never forget, I will never forgive Kyle Busch for this. They're going to need more than this, just those two. Bowman drops to the inside. His teammate Kyle Larson. Is Why did he help the outside? I don't. I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. There is a rumor that him and Joey are actually secretly besties. That's cute. <laughs> did you see that like video or like? I did. Yeah. So I'm just saying. Man, Kyle got shuffled out here. I'm literally crying. No, he got back to me. Whoa! Oh my God, Kyle and Blaney. <laughs> Okay. Caution. See, I was we, so over this race. This I, we couldn't even see who was leading. This is so dumb. Uh, yeah. No, this finish annoyed me. And like, it's, Mike, it's yellow, Mike's bedtime. Whatever. Like, Mike's ready to go to bed. Oh my God! Please have a better one than this year. They have to explain uh, how it works. Like, what is Bell doing here? Oh, yeah, Bell was like going to go to the pits. What was that about? Oh, oh right, he has, yeah, he has to cross the line first. It is yeah. The flag, it is not, the caution lights. It not is that it would have mattered. <laughs> so, Mike's still explaining the rules while NASCAR already made the call that Stenhouse won. I know we're talking over it, but like, not good. Let me tell you. That's boy, well, Alex, he's been close, he's been that's that's some of the best Daytona 500 finishes. I think my favorite has got to be like 2016 is my favorite finish in terms of just like mm -hmm. the racing, but in terms of like the memories, it's either 2014 or 2018. We're 2018 is not really for mm -hmm. the racing though. Like that was just because I was at the friend's house. So probably 2014 is my favorite. Obviously, Junior. Junior right. What's your favorite? Man, I would I'd have to say 2014's also up there for me because I I really wanted Dale to win it with all the hype that he was like, well, I'll join Twitter if I win it. Like he was joking, and there was just a lot of energy behind Dale that whole week, and. Man, I'm I'm glad that he finally got that sec he got a second one. Um another one I think about a lot is the two thousand eight one. Yeah. Because when Pinsky won, I wasn't a big Pinsky fan yet, but that's when I really, really started getting into it more. Uh, because I had this like program that listed all the race winners and how many wins they had. I started keeping track that whole year when they would win a race, I'd gribble out the win number and add a number into it. That's so cool. But yeah, so I'd say 08 special to me in that way, but also 04. So I was saying earlier, that's one of the first ones I remember watching the whole thing for. Really yeah. special. So both of Dale's wins. Yeah, well, we'll see who wins the 2024 Daytona 500. I'm excited to see if it's like an old veteran or another underdog or maybe someone else that's already won it before. Like maybe Hamlin gets his fourth. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We will see you guys next time.